Greetings everyone, it is Jason Snow here. Honestly, I did feel very proud to watch this episode. So much happened in it. It was amazing. The fights were off the charts, especially with Cinder and the other one. And so yeah, let's get straight into it, because I don't want to waste time. <laughs> off the bat we have Yang and Ruby ready to fight Mercury and Emerald. Then Weiss is getting healed by Jean, cause Jean. Then, well, Hazel has pissed off Nora, as you can see. Jeez. And then Hazel injects burn dust. Yes, I will be making a video. And then Faunus Army, cause the Faunus Army would be awesome to be in. Then the police arrive, thanks to Catwoman, Blake's mum. Then Ilya has disarmed the bombs, because Ilya is actually pretty good. I give her credit. Then Weiss brings Hazel back in with that thing. And then we see it again. Well, now. The greatest ruby fight in history to me. And then we get thing from Spooky Arm. Thank you. And then cool establishing shot by Raven. Only for Raven to win the whole thing and kill Cinder. And then we see... The gate opening, and it looks really cool. And honestly, when I looked at this picture, I thought that the writer was reading Red Hood and the Outlaws issue 14, and thought, hey, we can use that. And first glimpse of the relic looks like something out of Breath of the Wild. And then Yang, pissed off. Don't want to mess with her. So yeah, turns out I can talk fairly fast. And so yeah, that just happened. I honestly love Gacha Studios, it's so useful. Jason, you're forgetting something. The review. Right, yeah. I almost forgot about that thing. Anyway, here it is. The reason why I give this episode this amount of 100 out of 10 is because it broke the long silence of just walking that Volume 4 made. Sure, it had the new Kalabe, but at least we get this. A full-on fight scene between two maidens. We didn't get that in any of the past volumes. And since it was Raven vs Cinder, which they have maiden powers, it made it even more of a responsibility to turn Ruby back into what it was, a fighting series. But, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. And we also found out Hazel's semblance. Cool. And we also got Nora describing what Jean's semblance actually is, or amplification. Which I'll do a video on later. Before I leave this episode of analyzing reviews here, I just want to say I am so sorry for skipping over chapter 12. I had stuff that came up. Anyway, I hope to see you guys all again for the big finale and my MLP review for season 7. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. And good. <laughs>